Matter of fact, you know what's funny? There was a cop that came out here yesterday. And I showed him everything that was going on. I showed him everything from the very start. And you're probably wondering, why was the cop out there? Why was the cop out there? That's easy. Because somebody fucking called in a goddamn welfare check. Again. Welfare. I'm living on welfare. I'm living on money. Compliments of the U.S. government. But when I spoke with this cop, I showed him everything that was going on. I explained to him everything and I showed him all the proof. And even he sat right there and said that I am being targeted. And he agreed with it. Here's the thing. That officer didn't have his body cam on. You want to know why? Because he was aware of what y'all motherfuckers do. He was very aware of what y'all niggas are going to do. And he didn't want that for me. <laughs> what a bunch of fucking bullshit. Right, right. Okay. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to look this up, and then I'm going to uh, see if I can see what he's talking about, and then I'll have a talk with him. I mean, another officer, go have a talk with him about uh, whether he needs help or whether he needs to quit uh, playing games on online, you know, whichever it is. So. Which is so weird because I've never had him act like that when I talk to him. He's always said uh, that, that he's fine. His dad says he's fine. Um, that he's been, I mean, it's always been a prank. To, so um, that's why I definitely want to see these. Because I have seen videos of him before. And I know people rag on him hard time, hardcore on these, these videos. So, I mean, I could see him being upset about that for sure. So. Okay, let me give him a, a, a ring and head on over there if he doesn't answer and see what's going on and talk to his family, okay? What would you say your name was again? Was it Caitlin or was that what it was? Okay. All right. Thank you, Caitlin. All right. Bye. How you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Not bad. Chance here? Yeah. Can you talk to him for a minute? Yeah. And you if you want. That's fine. Well, I'm just mad. Yes, sir. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, the ramp. I'll bound the perk and check on the... 
Hey, hey, how you doing, Chance? No, it's Val. What's going on? Uh, just getting uh, another call from uh, yeah, from the YouTube world. Uh, yeah, ain't nothing going on. I figured not. Uh, I tried to call you before yeah. I come over here. Yeah, I'm not phone. It's not working right now. Okay. So, yeah. Um, this girl claims that you made a video no. recently saying you're gonna kill yourself and yeah, harm no, others. No, I never said that. Okay. Well, I know you got a pretty good following on yeah, on YouTube. Um, what? That's, that's why what I've been trying to do is I've actually been trying to reach out to an actual live staff member so that they could try to do an investigation and reach out to who? I'm sorry. Like an actual YouTube staff member that's not a robot. Oh, I got you. So that way yeah. they can try to do an investigation. And be like, hey, this is what's going on. I've actually just last night I was just telling him and my mom that I do have a letter typed out ready to go. That way I can, you know, send that out to them and let them know, hey, this is what's going on, this is what I'm dealing with, what can be done about this? Right. So, uh, so I don't know. So, help me, clue me in on what exactly is going on. You got some kind of feud going on with somebody, right? And so, long story short, for the past, how long we said, since like, what, 2017 started? Yeah. About, since 2017, this guy, Music Biz Marty's had this obsession with me. And in order to isolate me, he's tried to make me look a certain way and do certain things. And a lot of people have kind of caught on to that and started following into that. And as a result, um, they've actually committed a lot of not only uh, crimes on the internet, but they've also at one point, what was it, like about, how long would you say that Windows smash? I don't know, like about a week before Christmas? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, about a week before Christmas, somebody came over here, um, literally in the middle of the night when we were all asleep, and actually threw a uh, brick through the windshield of our car, and we had to replace it. And about a couple years before that, um, I was actually doing a live stream, and somebody actually... Uh, shot at me through my bedroom window, missed me, and the bullet went into my mattress. We called police out here, and they said that unfortunately, because the person, you know, would have, you know, already been gone, that they weren't really going to do anything. And that's the kind of stuff that these. It's hard to prove, I'm thinking, is what they mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you don't have video. Do you ever. Have you put video up? Oh, yeah. Yours? There's video all over the place. Like, I mean, cameras. Well, well. Okay. Like, we've been, like, trying to reach out for legal help as much as we can, but unfortunately, due to the fact that these guys are cross state lines. And, right, right. And so it was Marty's not from Ohio. No, no, all these people are from out of state. What they're doing is they're sending people from... Because I, I, I know you've had people from Akron call on you, too, and come over and do weird stuff. Is that just... Yeah. People from yeah, the what internet. They, yeah, what they're doing is they're calling these people from different, like they're in different cities, but they're calling people here in this area and having them show up here. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, last weekend, there was probably 50 people here. They wanted to clean out the garage. They wanted to clean out the basement. They wanted to pick up all the scrap. They wanted power tools. Which we never put anything up on. Uh, oh, because of the Facebook. Yeah, yeah they put some on Marketplace. Yeah, yeah, Mark. They do it on Marketplace, uh, yeah. Craigslist. Now, do you get these guys back, the smarty guy? No, like, I, mean, I don't I'm, care if you do. I, I'm just, oh, saying, no, I'm just like, asking. No, like I genuinely try. I try to stay away from that. Mm, okay. I try to avoid that as much what, as I can. What is your? Uh, you go with your moniker or whatever. Cyrax. I'll I'll have to. i what I can do is um. Hey, do you, you mind if I grab your phone and grab a photo real quick? Go ahead. Okay. And if you can't explain this, one of the stuff that's been going on. I mean, I've I've been working over here for over over a decade, so I understand that it's just. We're trying to get him to stay off the internet, which is Yeah, that's the real problem, but he sounds like he's... It's right. also kind of giving him notoriety in the sense that he has a lot of attention on there, so... And that's the only thing he does. He don't do anything else, you know? Right. I mean, I, uh, I get it. I understand. We have uh, people come by and fucking put cat shit with the kitty litter on our windshield and just a whole bunch of, you know, bullshit stuff. 
it's too bad you guys couldn't uh, get out of this location and keep keep your new location hidden, you know. Well, he wouldn't do that. Be, he would be right on the internet, and then that, he would that, just let it go and that, let the information go. And, right, it would all start all over again, you know. Gotcha. What what's his YouTube YouTube name or channel? I don't I don't know. I don't even get on the computer. You don't get on it? <laughs> no, nope, I'm computer dumb. Okay. Well, That's the best way to be. You know? That probably is the best way to be right now, huh? <laughs> Maybe one of these years I'll learn, but I just I just got out of back surgery. I see that. I didn't know if that was old or no, how's that healing up? It's like seven weeks. Seven weeks. Um, oh, I mean, it looks good for. Yeah. They say I can't. I can't go back to work for. Well, I got another three months. Then I'm supposed to wear that neck brace. Did you have stuff fu spine, uh, fuse, fuse yeah, fused? Fusion. Yeah. What you did was they went up in here and they cut all the muscles in here down to where. It's right. About right there. Because I was. Uh, my fingers were numb from my middle finger all the way up to my arm on both sides. Oh, so that was the reasoning for the surgery? Yeah, well, they, they did the first one, and I... I wait, wait, which fingers were numb? The middle ones. The, all of them, really, huh. they would, it would start there and go on up. And they didn't think it was like that ulnar nerve? Well, I, 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 I got that one done. Did that help or no? No? Okay. I got a... Both, uh... Can I ask a quick question? Yeah, sure. When you guys get these calls... Is it noted whether we call or whether somebody else calls? Oh yeah, everything is. Okay, because when he had went to a court a while back, they said we called 113 right. times. Well, I mean, people could play games, I guess. And, yeah. you know, a while back, uh, people were able to put your number in and call the police or yeah, call a Yeah, I know, they did it right out front here. So that's a possibility, but everything, I mean... There's it's no well documented, we, we understand. We don't call that many times. Since he's been to court, we haven't called at all. <laughs> right, right, right. I understand. Okay. Yeah. You know, this is, this is actually the, a photo of my channel right now. I don't want to put right it on video. Do you mind if I snap a picture? Oh, go ahead. And, like, what happened the last time, like, that channel was actually fairly new. But what happened the last time is... I started to speak out against these guys and what's going on. And in order to shut me up, they mass reported my channel for no reason because they knew that I was that I was speaking out against them and what's going on. So your old channel did it get shut down? Or? It got mass reported because okay. they they were saying that I was doing stuff wrong but really behind the scenes. So this is like some troll hacker situation. Yeah, where they like do they, they can. They, too. Now they they blow my phone up. They blow her phone up. We yeah. don't say anything back to them. You know what I mean? Right. She she changed her her number, and within three days they had her number. Yeah. Back in the old days, you could get one that was unlisted. Yeah. Now you can't. I don't know about and, that. Well, it's it's definitely these guys. I can honestly say they definitely don't have lives. That's for sure. <laughs> Because all, yeah, they, do, cause all, all they, do. they do is sit there and, like, they go after you for no reason. I even asked them, like, several times, like, straight up, like, why do you guys do this? Like, you're right. not you're not proving anything. You're not. And then, then if you get mad and make a video yourself, yeah, then that, that, makes that just makes them happy. Right. And it's like, you can ask him. I've been trying really, really hard not to do that. But it's right. like, it's, it's like I told them. It's like, you know. It's like poking a bear. You can poke it once, it's yeah. not going to do anything. But eventually... No, I completely that person's understand. Gonna snap, yeah, I'll yeah. say stuff. And... Now, now, too, there's a neighbor, and I think it's that one that your police car's parked in front of. Right. She she lets him know when me and my girlfriend leave. Like, he, he's the only one here. Yeah. She lets them know? Yeah, or... she's got one of them ring, ring doorbells. Oh. So, so she can sit out on the porch and watch us leave. Hmm. And, you know... Because there was, and the reason why I was saying that is there was one day where, how long ago was that, like last week or something? Yeah, last week. Yeah, last week they went to go to one of his appointments, and I didn't say a damn word to anybody at all whatsoever. And automatically, right off rip, fucking uh, Marty, who hey. I was, like right off rip, uh, Marty, he was like, oh, then, then why is that van leaving? And I'm like... 
How do you know that? I bet he didn't say You don't that. think he's just hacking in there? Or? Oh, no, I know. He's not that smart. Like, okay. He's smart, but he's not tech savvy smart. Yeah, but he's got a lot of followers, too, I'd imagine. Yeah, right? I know. Now, now, I'm thinking it's either one of them or, like he said, maybe Somebody one of them. Like, yeah, because yeah, he has been here many a times. Like, he's that ARBNB right back there. He stayed there. Marty, Marty's coming. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's, so he's a stalker obsessed. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Because huh. what happened was several years ago, wasn't it like when you first moved in? Oh, when, I, it don't matter really yeah. when, when it was. Yeah. You are big Oh, hey. Ask him. Ask him if he knows that he would install that Chrome Hunt. He wants to know if you know anybody that would install that Chrome Hunt. Camera system? I don't know any businesses personally, but I mean, I don't know if you can find somebody uh, that does it on Facebook. Or yeah, like, I've asked, I've asked well, around. I, I don't know, know about that. that. You know I, mean, I mean, I don't know how handy you guys are, but they're not hard to install. I'm not. No, I'm why not. you can't do it because you're back and everything. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not as, like, I don't, like, I, I don't do heights. I'm not, I'm not a heights kind of person, well, you, you know what I mean? You do stuff that's low, I mean. Yeah, that is See, true. like the camera system I have uploads everything, so yeah. they can walk up and take it. If that happens, it, yeah. they're still going to be on camera. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, you, you might have to, if you trust somebody, if you have a mechanic or somebody, yeah. they, that's all you hey, need. Do, do we know anybody that be able to no, do that? I, I, I got a couple people, but... Uh, okay, I just wanted to try to get an understanding, because oh, I know we're, right. I keep going through this for years, oh, and I also yeah. don't want it to be, become to the point where you do feel like oh, yeah, you're absolutely. suicidal right. or something. Right, exactly, you know, and that's even, why... Even on the phone, and I know it's on the phone, that they're, they're, they're saying, this is it, your head shit like that, you know? Yeah, they're matter of fact, I don't know. Big war going back and forth. Yeah, I mean, I mean her's going crazy over it, you know? What do we do? We had him off of it for a little while. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one thing to be on the internet, it's another thing to have bullets coming through your wall, that's for sure. <laughs> no, that's it's not cool. That's that's a big, that changes things right there. And it, it can be anybody, you know? Just, right. I got, um, well, I got like three or four baseball bats. I got one long knife. <laughs> got a paintball gun, but I don't have no gas for it. Do you know where to get any gas for it? Walmart. No. No. Nope. Paintball gun? No. Nope. Oh, 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 uh, they don't fill them? Nope. too? Nope. Because huh. there was, there was a Walmart. There was a, there's that place down there on uh, Main Street that's out of business. Uh, here's an example of the kind of person that's in the wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, you know. So none of this is true, right? No, no, none of that is true at all. You say you went to court, and then you did you get in trouble? No, what happened was um, I don't know if you've ever like seen the videos, but there was a dude that came on our property, uh, started harassing us, and got like literally half our neighborhood from that end to get in his space, my mom's face, and they warned him several times to back off and leave. Uh -huh. He wouldn't do it, so I came out of the baseball bat, and I gave him a fair warning before I did anything. I was like, look, dude, like, right. you need to leave, or I'm going to swing at you. He refused to leave, so I swung at him, not to hurt him, but to kind of like give him a fair warning, like, hey, yeah. like, just, you need to leave. And he caught the bat and stepped back off our property onto the sidewalk. And as a result, I ended up getting arrested, got out the next day, went through all that court crap for about, what, six, seven months almost? Yeah. About six, seven months. Charges got dropped because he never showed up right. at all. But never any charges related to no. the internet stuff or anything No, like no, no, no. Matter okay. of fact, what I was going to do is when now that stuff did happen, I was going to try to explain to the judge, like, is there any way that you could, like, try to make these guys you know, stop what they're doing because what they're doing, that, that's a lot of people don't realize, but that shit affects real lives every day. Yeah. One of the uh, people, one of the most famous ones was um, was the Inquisitor because he went through a very similar situation 
to what I did and ended up taking his own life as a result. Yeah, you don't want to do that, man. Yeah. You, you can always just call, like... Oh, absolutely. Anybody, anybody working on this department will come out here and, oh, I know, and talk that's, to you if we have to, you know. Right, take you, know, you somewhere or whatever like we got to do. Right, like we've had FBI out here, we've had detectives out here. And it's crazy, like all these people are always like, oh, you're a pedophile, you're this and that, but yet... Every single person that's been out here in law enforcement has been like, no, you just got to be more careful. That's it. Because right. they see what's going on. Matter of fact, weren't you, like, he was like, he was literally standing right there when the detective said that. Like, it's pretty damn clear that you're being targeted. Right. And like, it, it's, keep in mind, too, when we do get called out here. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's just it's, you guys doing your job. Well, yeah. I understand. I know you know that, and I appreciate that. Yeah. But uh, what I'm trying to say is they're going to see this. Well, yeah, because the oh, yeah. they're gonna pull this stuff. Everything's public oh, record, yeah. so like you see why when I turn out to show your yeah, in a perfect world that stuff's all blurred out. Oh but, yeah, absolutely. And like I said, you know, the like, stuff you say and stuff oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, so and, and like, and people it's, need to stop doing this. And, yeah, and, I, and it's crazy because like I already know exactly what's gonna happen. They're gonna yeah. yank the footage, post it up, and it's like, what's the point in that? Like you're not proving anything. You're literally right. just like. It, it's all just, it's literally what it is. The thing that I found out is all this is literally just yeah. one big scam for them to make money. That's what it's right. really yeah. all boils yeah. down to. Yeah. And it, it's fucking stupid. Like, like you can ask him before all this started. I wasn't doing anything. I was there doing my own thing, not messing with anybody. And then out of nowhere, this dude starts doing all this crap. And it's like, where did you even come from? Like, that is weird. Yeah. If he's making money off you, you better, oh, tell, you better tell him that it's your turn to make some money. I know. Oh, I've been doing that, but it's like they're all like, oh, they've actually, and they've openly admitted to not only stealing my shit that I do, but they've also some of them have even fly out said that that they either want to see me homeless or dead. And it's like, what kind of sick person do you have to be to say that? Like, what the hell? Well, you got you got kind of semi. Lifestyle oh, of a famous person. Oh, I know. Who, That's... who have you have you ever listened to like Joe Rogan? Oh yeah. He, he doesn't read that stuff online. Oh yeah. Because he knows they're just gonna be saying. Oh, crazy I know. Stuff. Yeah, I know. Believe it or not, I do pay attention to Joe Rogan. I listen to a lot of what he says all the time, and a lot of what he says about a lot of these, a lot of these kinds of people is correct. Like they don't have lives. They live in their parents' basement. Right. They act like they're these big tough people, but it's like. Out in the real world, it's like, come on, dude. Right. And I find it, the thing I do find funny with these guys is they're always like, oh, what, like, you won't do anything. It's like, dude, if I'm not afraid to face this Marty dude face to face, which I have done, and if I'm not afraid to swing at some random dude that shows up on my doorstep, why would I be afraid to do something that I need to do to protect my family? Like, right. y'all ain't scary. You're just talking big and bad like you're going to do something. Uh, to me, it just seems like there's so much of it going on. It's so oh, I know. And it's, so popularized that yeah, yeah it's, everybody's it's almost, coming out of the woodwork. It's almost it like, may not even be working for Marty. Right. It's literally just a, it's just basically mainstream now. It's basically streamlined now, especially yeah. since COVID. Because right. COVID is when it really started to right. ramp up. Which is sad. It's like, don't y'all have kids to take care of? Don't y'all have jobs to do? Like, go outside, touch grass, do something, man. All right, stop, stop trying to and ruin time, other yeah. people's lives. Exactly, and you know, like I said, that's why what I've been doing is I've actually been trying to reach out to YouTube through Twitter and other means of, like, actually trying to reach out to a staff member and be like, hey, like, this is what's going on. What can you guys do to try to, you know, put a stop to this? Because these guys are starting to toy with, Stuff that could either get them hurt or someone else hurt. They even came down here and started to tear their fence down. Yeah, <laughs> and one and what's so funny about that is there's like the officer that came down here after we had called them about the fence being torn down. He was all like, you know that you like you you're like you, what was he saying like that I was the reason that. Like the fence is getting torn down or something like that. Just saying, you might bear some responsibility for what's yeah, going on. Yeah, and it's like I'm not responsible for that happening. Like, yeah. where where do you get that? I I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, like I understand that, like you know, like me responding back might not be the best thing in the world, but it's like 
when you got these people constantly right. coming at you every day so freaking much so, like sounds like he's kind of half right and half wrong it's not yeah. your fault you you're not inviting people over here you're actually mad because yeah people keep bothering like, you and not only that but like when they constantly attack my friends and my family right. and do all this stuff it's like what do they expect to happen like when you attack my friends and my family you get like, upset man right like and i've told them several times like hey if you guys got a problem with me take it up with me leave my friends and family yeah. the hell out of it they don't have anything to do with it if you got a problem with me Make a panel, or get a hold of me, because y'all already know how to get a hold of me. We'll talk about it. Don't sit there and go after my friends and family like that. It's freaking stupid, because they didn't do anything. Why drag well, them to do it? As long as you keep... Like, it don't make no sense. As long as you keep buying into what they're selling, man, it's going to keep going on. I know, and that's why I've been really trying not to, and I've been, like I said, okay. I've been reaching out to people, trying to figure out, like, what can be done, because... There have been a lot of people that have been like, dude, like, this is not okay. Like, right. the other day I did an interview with this dude, really nice guy, very well-rounded guy, very, very under, very understanding guy. But because of that interview, the trolls decided to go after him, dox him, and unfortunately right. he left the internet because he doesn't know, like, he didn't know, like, oh, they, these guys aren't really going to do anything. Because what they did is they put his information out there and it's like dude all he did was interview me like there's right. nothing wrong with that and that's what these guys do is anybody that supports me and shows like hey this dude isn't a bad guy they automatically make them a target and it's like what the heck like my own uh, not my biological father but my own adopted dad unfortunately because of these trolls ended up disowning me on a live stream because of these guys and it's like at that point, like, when that, when that thing happened, it's like, I didn't know what to think. I didn't even know what to feel or even how to feel anything at that point. I was like, here's this guy that raised me half my life, now disowning me because he would rather believe a bunch of random people that he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Like, and I even told him straight up, like, when I confronted him, I'm like, dude, like, you literally could have reached out to me in private, and we could have talked about this in private, but instead, you believe these random people, like, the fuck dude mm. like that's the lengths that these guys go to they will do whatever they can to to get away with it and it's like it's not cool which is why i've been really you know trying to speak out about it and say like hey mm -hmm. this is a real problem this is what needs to be going on and there have been a few people that have been like dude like you're not wrong like this is a serious issue and as a result of me speaking out that's why the old channel that i did have got shut down because in secret they didn't want me speaking out right. they don't like it when they're victims or people that they don't like they they hate it when you go against them so they're gonna be like oh we're we're gonna get you shut down like you're not speaking out and it's like it's like i told them like go ahead and show it down i can make another channel just as easily and i'm gonna continue to speak out because what you guys are doing isn't right and I'm going to continue to try to help those that I can that you guys have victimized, you know? Yeah, maybe that's what you should concentrate on, is just which trying is what, to help other people that are down. and Yeah, which is what I've been really trying to put my focus into lately. And, you know, really trying to find, you know, other people that have gone through that same stuff. I've had several people hit me up on Discord that I'm like, dude, like, I did not know that you were going through this. Like, what the hell? All right, Chance. Take it easy, Thank you for talking. Yeah, you take it easy, man. We'll see you. Good luck yeah. to you. Yeah, see you Alright, what do you gain from trolling someone besides entertainment? What do you genuinely gain besides a quick laugh and entertainment? What do you gain from bullying someone, from trolling someone? Like, what's the point?